In 2017, we celebrate 100 years of the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. The journal was launched in 1917, initially as the American Review of Tuberculosis. It was very interesting at that time is that there were, was considerable doubt among the National Association for Tuberculosis as to whether another journal was required. So the journal was then launched as a journal devoted to the study of tuberculosis, but within that there were some other articles published on non-tuberculous conditions. The first editor was Alan Krauss, and I think he was a very strong personality with a very good intellect, and he was the main driving force for the journal right up into the 1940s. The Blue Journal is the premier respiratory journal and over the hundred years we have published articles involving translational research and clinical scientific papers that have been relevant to the membership of the American Thoracic Society. At the same time we have published educational articles that have had also long-standing impact. So the original focus of the journal was as a tuberculosis journal. In fact, it was set up to enhance research and study of pulmonary tuberculosis because at that time there was a need for therapies for the condition. So this was more or less how the journal ran till, till 1950. And then after 1950, there was an increasing number of papers published in other branches of respiratory medicine. And this then led to further name changes of the journal. In 1959, the journal became the American Review of Respiratory Disease. And this name was changed to focus on the fact that pulmonary tuberculosis was being treated. It was less of a problem than it had been at the beginning of the century. And the respiratory community had to focus on other respiratory conditions such as asthma and COPD. So in January 1994, the journal changed its title to what we have now, the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. The big change was the addition of critical care medicine, which was an emerging specialty. And we have published some very important papers in critical care medicine over that time, papers on the importance of PEEP and also importance of ventilator-induced lung injury and ARDS. The Blue Journal also publishes papers on sleep-disordered breathing. Indeed, this is a very important part of the journal and sleep is still an emerging and relatively new specialty. Over the years, we have published some very important papers on sleep that have been highly cited and have had major impact on the practice of sleep medicine. For example, the Sleep Heart Study. Uh, this was published on 6,000 patients and showed an important relationship between sleep apnea and the development of cardiovascular disease and also cerebrovascular disease. So the first 50 years, the journal was mainly about pulmonary um, tuberculosis. Papers were mainly observational without um, much statistics, but this has changed over the years. And from the um, 40s, late 40s and 50s, we began to see papers in other areas. So for instance, papers on occupational exposures were published in the late 40s and early 50s and some of these were very important in guiding public policy towards exposures. We then had a number of very interesting other papers. So in 1959, Brantigan in fact published the first paper on surgery for emphysema and this later set the seed for further work on lung volume reduction surgery which is now applied um, in clinical practice. There was another very interesting paper from Burroughs in 1964 looking at bronchitis in London and emphysema in Chicago. And in the end, the paper decides that actually the two countries across the Atlantic are looking 
at exactly the same patients. But that COPD is a complex disorder with a number of phenotypes. And we are still trying to sort out the relevance of these phenotypes now. So I think a lot of the papers published in the 50s and 60s really set the foundations for our later research and clinical practice. The future strategy of the journal will be to continue publishing the very best papers in translational respiratory medicine, critical care and sleep, and papers that are of direct relevance to clinical practice, so that the journal remains as the premier respiratory journal in the whole world.